Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Intersect tutorial series. This is episode 5, events part 1. This is going to be just a little basic look at events because there's a lot you can do with them. Alright, so with that said, let's jump into it. So as you can see, I made just a little map here. And today what we are going to be doing is making an event for a door. Because as you can see, you can't walk in through this door. But if I push the action button, the door opens, and now I can walk in. Pretty simple stuff, but it's a good way to kind of jump into events if you've never done them. So what we're going to do with this event is we're going to use player switches, because once you leave a map, the player switches will reset, like so. I can open this door and walk over here where we haven't added a door yet, but I do have the warp set, so I can walk into this house here, walk back out, and the store is shut. So let me show you how I did that. I'm going to go into the editor, go into events over here. Here's the event for the door. When we click on it, we can see there are two pages. The first page is the closed door. The second page is the open door. So let's make us a little door right here. First we're going to click, make sure we got our events going. Click here, and for our first image, we're going to go to a, the sprite sheet. We're going to find our doors PNG. We're going to find the closed door, then we're going to hit OK. We're going to click the walking animation off, we're going to hide the name, and we're going to leave the trigger to action button. Now what we're going to do is when the player pushes the action button, we're going to come up over here, and then we're going to find, let's see here, where is it? Oh, here we go. Set cell switch A to true. Or actually, we're going to make this one B to true. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new page. And on this page, we're going to go to spawn conditions. We're going to add a new one. Go to add condition. Then up here under condition type, we're going to go to self switch. We're going to find self switch B and make sure that the it is set to true. Click OK and then hit save. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. Go to sprite, find the doors, and we're going to find our open door. Click OK. We're going to make this one passable, hide name, and we're going to put this one on auto run. That way, once the first page is um, is going and you put your action button, switches over to the second page and it's automatically going. Now when we hit passable, that'll make it so players can actually walk through the event. And then we're going to hit save. And we're going to go save here. Now the reason we didn't make this player switch A is because this one is set to player switch A. And if we were to make it player switch A, then both events would go off once we open one door. Now that we've got that saved, let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, now the door is there. We can't walk through it. And we can open it, and it opens. We can walk in, and everything's good. Walk out, just the same. Now, let's say we open this door. And then we open this door. We can leave them both open, walk into one house, walk out, they both close. I'm not sure why it makes that white flash there, but it does. And um, I'm not sure. That's kind of strange. Now, let's go back over here and let's. I'm going to show you. Now, if we were to set, change this, we're just going to have to do this. Go to cancel. Okay, so we edit this. And we make it player switch A, or self switch A, sorry. We go to save. Now, for some reason, I don't know, didn't have the effect I expected it to. Um, that's odd. I don't know why it does that, but that is odd. Hmm. That could be a bug, I'm not sure. But uh, I will let JC know about it. So yeah, you want to make sure you have this set 
as a different self switch as your other doors. Let's see here. Hmm. I'm not sure why it switches to that white one, to be honest. That is odd. Either way. Now let's go back here and just to make sure that we got this set up right. Well, alright, so that works. And um, yeah, so that is the very basics of events. With events you can do a lot of things. Um, in the next episode, I will cover some more advanced events. And we'll actually start doing some cool stuff. For example, we can come up here to this chest, make an event that once we open it, it'll change the graphic to make the chest look like it's open, and even give us some money or items or something. You know, lots of things. Even the quest editor uses events. You can do almost anything with the event suit. You know, if you can think it, you can probably event it. You know, not to say that there will be things you need the source for, but you can do a lot with the events. The event system is very powerful. Anyways, I hope you guys found this useful, and, you know, maybe uh, it'll help somebody. If you like the video, you know, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Anyways, thanks guys. Bye.